Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so five tips for the newly married. Number one, don't be afraid to disagree. It's common that when people first get married, they're in that lovey-dovey phase, and when they see something uh, in their spouse that they don't like, they don't really bring it up, they don't address it, and they just live their life in that way until they find themselves in a position one day, maybe after the honeymoon phase is over, after a year or so, where they have some type of conflict, they disagree, they strongly disagree with their spouse, and they don't know how to deal with this conflict. And they don't know how to deal with it is because they never train themselves uh, when it comes to conflict resolution. They don't know how to disagree with their spouse. And subhanAllah, it's actually, like I said, it's better that if you have a disagreement or you disagree with your spouse, it's okay to disagree with them even in the beginning of the relationship. What you're doing is you're establishing habits that will continue or you're establishing good habits of how to deal with conflict that will continue on in the future of your relationship as well. Number two, educate yourself about marriage and relationships. If you haven't done this before marriage, which is actually the proper time to do it, but if you haven't done it before, at least now educate yourself about marriage. For example, the fiqh of marriage, the Islamic part of it, the fiqh of marriage and relationships, but even when it comes to communication uh, and conflict resolution, educate yourself about this. It's not too late. Uh, do it now. Number three, learn about the differences between the genders. The reality is that men and women are different. There are many ways in which we're different. We behave in different ways. We deal with issues in different ways. There are psychological differences between, differences between men and women. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're married is to treat the opposite gender just like the way they would want to be treated. And so educate yourself and like with the previous point, this should be done before you get married. But if you haven't done it, then at least do it now. Educate yourself about the differences between men and women. Number four, learn together so that you may improve together. Uh, if you put yourself in the habit from the beginning of your relationship of learning, uh, starting with Islam, obviously improving your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together, this is a habit that will continue on in the rest of your relationship. And this is something inshallah that you can pass on to your children as well. If you're learning together, you are improving together. And the more you improve your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more it will help the relationship between the two of you. Lastly, number five, and this may seem a little odd to some people, but trust me, this is important. Make a budget. Now you're asking, what, is a, what do you mean make a budget? What does that have to do with all these other pieces of advice that you're giving me? Make a budget because one of the, and I mentioned this in a previous video before, but one of the main causes of divorce is financial problems or financial issues. And so from the beginning of the relationship, if you make a budget and you have your expectations laid out in terms of how much um, how much you're supposed to spend, how much what you're supposed to spend on, what you're not supposed to spend on, to lay down your financial expectations from one another, this can save a lot of conflict that can occur later on in the relationship. So lastly, and I know this may say this may sound strange to you, but sit down with your new wife or sit down with your new husband and make a budget for your life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshallah ta'ala, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. وبركاته